uh, give you a little brief on what the how this started and what the concept is. You know, in 2017, if you remember, uh, the shrine of uh, our great uh, Saint uh, uh, Lal Shabazz Kalandar was attacked. And uh, that made me realize that, you know, this, this core part of Islam or the Savvuf uh, is really under attack and, you know, hundreds of years of a way of uh, living and being which uh, in my humble opinion uh, was the was the and is the the, the foundation of our civilization which uh, uh, when it began uh, was a revolutionary message and still is um, you know that compelled me to create uh, america's first khanka uh, we are based in a small town outside of new york uh, mayo pack uh, is about you know 45 miles outside of new york city and at the Olya Council Center, we have the America's first Khanka called Khanka Chishtia Faridia. I am a, I'm a Chishti by tradition. And, and uh, Dr. Mehdi, please explain what is a Khanka for our viewers. You know, not everybody is familiar. Sure. So a Khanka is a is a is a basically a center. It's not just a physical center, but it's an idea, and and it's a, it's a it's a physical premise where where the whole idea is to deliver sustenance of all kinds. So not just spiritual sustenance, but, you know, uh, uh, try to fulfill people's needs. And then uh, these khankas traditionally uh, in the Indian subcontinent have uh, been completely non-sectarian, non, uh, non-religious in some ways, because that is the, that is the way tasawwuf is structured. And that is the not only the message, but in practicality, what the the Khankas had been doing uh, in the Indian subcontinent and still do.